are you aware that there is a higher incidence of and mortality from prostate cancer in men of black ethnicity than in white men? The reason for this is unknown. This is a very sensitive but crucial topic for men and I in particular as I lost my dad two years ago from prostate cancer. Do you know that the lifetime risk of being diagnosed with prostate cancer is one in four for black men compared with one in eight for white men? So now you know. This video will give a brief, brief explanation on prostate cancer, its risk factors, how to spot symptoms of prostate cancer, its complications and treatment. So are you ready? Let's go! Hey guys, as you all know me to be, I am Bukola, the founder of Wellness with Bukola. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel is Wellness with Bukola. Follow on Instagram, TikTok at Wellness with Bukola for a more interesting topic. Now, what is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is a malignant tumor of the prostate. Almost all cancers of the prostate 95% are adenocarcinoma, which means cancer of glandular cells. Prostate cancer is multifocal. The different focal may be caused by different genetic mutations, which can differ greatly in growth rate and ability to metastasize. Most prostate cancers are indolent and grow slowly. The minority are aggressive in their tendency to invade local structures or to metastasize to remote tissues. So a, locally, a localized prostate cancer is confined within the capsule and seldom causes symptom. A locally advanced prostate cancer extends beyond the capsule of the prostate and often asymptomatic when diagnosed. While a metastatic prostate cancer most frequently affects the bones where it can cause where it causes pain and fragility fractures. The etiology of prostate cancer is still unknown, however, a number of risk factors have been associated with the development of the disease. Prostate cancer is curable, and the prognosis prognosis depends on the initial stage and diagnosis. Prostate cancer has a five-year survival rate of over 95% when diagnosed at stage 1 to 3 when compared with other cancers. However, for the 1 in 5 people diagnosed with stage 4 prostate cancer metastatic, the five-year survival rate is just 49%. Risk factors for developing prostate cancer include 1. Black ethnicity. Like I said earlier on, there is a higher incidence of and mortality for prostate cancer in men of black ethnicity than in white men. The reason for this is still unknown. The lifetime risk of being diagnosed with prostate cancer is 1 in 4 for black men compared with 1 in 8 for white men. The lowest incidence rate of prostate cancer has seen in Asian people, particularly in India, China and Japan. South Asian people living in England have a lower incidence of prostate cancer than their white counterpart, relative risk of 0.8%. 2. Family history of prostate cancer and genetics. People are, are at higher risk if they have a close relative, for example, a brother or father who has who has had prostate cancer. The genetic basis for the hereditary cause is still unknown, but prostate cancer specific germline mutations such as HOXB13 have been implicated. Germline mutations associated with other cancers such as BRCA1-2 have also been associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. 3 is an increase in age. Age is one of the strongest risk factors for prostate cancer. People are at higher risk if they are aged 50 years or older. The estimated incidence is 0.1% in men younger than 50 years. Prostate cancer is suspected in men who have any of the following symptoms that are honestly. 1. Lower back or bone pain. 2. Lethargy. 3. Erectile dysfunction. For visible immateria, that's blood in your urine. Five, anorexia, stroke weight loss, and lower urinary tract 
symptom, such as nocturia, having to urinate more often at night time, urinary frequency, urgency, which is a sudden strong need to urinate, assistancy, urinary retention, seminal dribbling, and or overactive bladder. These symptoms are common in older men and early prostate cancer will not usually produce these symptoms. However, locally advanced prostate cancer may cause obstructive lower urinary tract symptoms. Lower back pain, bone pain, weight loss are possible symptoms of advanced prostate cancer. The complications of prostate cancer include one, local invasion. Prostate cancer can be locally invasive and spread in the seminal ves ves vesicles, base of the bladder, urethra sphincter, or sidewall of the pelvis. Pelvis two metastasizing prostate cancer most commonly spread to the bones, where it can cause pain, pathological fractures, or spinal cord compression. 3. Lower urinary tract symptoms. Early prostate cancer does not usually cause LUTS. By the time prostate cancer causes lower urinary tract symptom, it may be advanced and incurable. Now, for the treatment option for prostate cancer, the full detailed explanation on treatment is on my website, www.thewellnesswithbukola.com. But they briefly include one, watchful waiting. Watchful waiting is part of a strategy for controlling rather than curing prostate cancer and is aimed at people with localized prostate cancer who are not who are either not suitable for or do not ever wish to receive curative treatment and instead involves the deferred use of hormone therapy. Two, active surveillance is part of a curative strategy and is aimed at people with localized prostate cancer for whom radical treatment are suitable, keeping them within a window of curability whereby only those whose tumors are showing signs of progressing or those with a preference for intervention are considered for radical treatment. Three, Radical treatment include radical prostatectomy, standard beam radiotherapy, and brachytherapy. This is explained more on my website. And four, adjunctive and palliative treatment include hormone therapy, chemotherapy, and bisphosphonase. This is explained more on my website also. So please refer to your primary care provider for further advice, diagnosis, and treatment. For the full comprehensive article on this topic, go to my website at www.awarenesswithbukola.com. You can email me for business inquiry, info awarenesswithbukola.com. As usual, I look forward to your comment below and I will do my best to answer your question on this topic. Bye for now.